If, if we can, uh, Wayne, now talk specifically around some of the uh, technologies in the battle space, etc., battlefield. Um, we talked about innovation, uh, closely aligned with that is, a, is applying some futuristic thinking. Right. Um, so if I can ask you to put your futurist hat on for a second and tell us what you think the battlefield will look like in 2020. Wow, so that's a 10 year look forward. I'm not quite sure that my crystal ball is shiny enough to see 10 years in advance. Um, if you think about the changes that have happened in the last 10 years, they've probably been as dramatic as they have been in the previous 40 from the perspective of IT. So who knows what 10 years is going to look like. But let me give you some ideas as to things that I'm seeing that we're working on right now with our partners uh, that I think will change the environment over the next five to 10 years. Um, First of all, let me just anchor this around a couple of projects that we've won, won recently, both with NATO in this case. So I think, number one, it would be that, that whole area of connectivity in the battlefield. Number two is about where you put the uh, decision-making. How do you push that decision-making down the organization hierarchy to points of decision-making which are essentially much closer to the front line than they have been historically? So in, in the old model, we had command and control where information flowed up, people at the back office made a decision and provided information back down the tree. We need a lot more kind of self-synchronization. But to do that, that means that people need to be empowered with better tools to make decisions, to make better informed decisions. And the battlefield is a very information noisy place. So how do you filter that information? How do you provide just the right of information at just the right time to just the right kind of people? So it's that sort of almost, it's not quite artificial intelligence, but it's about providing that intelligence network to manage the very large volumes of data that are flying around the battlefield and translating that into actionable knowledge and moving it into knowledge at the point of action.